Members of the Nigerian Senate have called upon the federal and state ministries of education to mandate all schools across the country to move their crash and nursery classes to the ground floor of their high-rise building and implement safety protocols. Details in this report. This motion titled Urgent Need to Mandate Schools to Locate Crash and Nursery Classes on the Ground Floor of High-Rise Buildings and Enforce Safety Measures was sponsored by Senator Abule Idiat Oluronti, representing Lagos West Senatorial District and received support from all the senators. She notes, we grieve the death of a toddler, David Aitin Udo, on the 24th of October, 2023, who fell from a school high-rise building at Emirates International School, Abba, in Abia State. Further know that the incident brought to, to the fore Again, the issue of safety in our schools, particularly for babies and toddlers in crash and nursery schools across Nigeria. And we heard that accidents do occur, including falling from multi-floor buildings in our schools, resulting in injuries, temporary or permanent disabilities in some cases. Death. This motion stems from a tragic incident involving a two-year-old pupil, David Etim, from Emerald International School, who lost his life in the fall from a three-story building in Abba, Abia State, on October 24, 2023. In support of the motion, Senator Abba Moro, representing Bayway North, suggested that regulators should be mandated to take appropriate actions to prevent such incidents from recurring in the future. Accidents of this nature do not have party colors. They do not have religious colors. It is like the rain. It falls on every roof and any roof. And so all of us must rise up to occasion and very effectively represent our people by ensuring that our regulators live up to their responsibility by ensuring that school structures are designed properly and especially that our future generation are protected. All the senators who supported the motion faulted development control on design approval and school authorities on the facilities converted to school buildings. There is no way a school can have a high-rise building for toddlers without putting in place uh, safety measures so that this type of thing will not happen. I think it's the fault of uh, the authorities in the first place to allow anyone to use any facility to be used as school. It is wrong. If proper thing is done in terms of giving approval for those who want to establish schools, by making sure that each facility, any facility to be used for such purpose, conform with what is needed of such a facility. During the Monday plenary, lawmakers also urged the Nigerian police to promptly initiate an investigation into the circumstances surrounding the toddler's death. Amongst other resolutions, they also urged the relevant ministries to enforce safety protocols in schools as enshrined in the national policy on safety, security, and violence-free school. I do hope that with these uh, resolutions of the Senate today, that uh, state governments, the federal and others, including private schools, will see the need to implement safety uh, procedures in their various institutions to avoid untimely death of our future generation. A one-minute silence was observed in honor of the young victim. Rest in Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.